Welcome back to the Bronx Latino History Project. My name is Stephen Payne, librarian and archivist at the Bronx County Historical Society. Today is January 25th, 2022, and we're here again with Evaristo Roman for part eight of his oral history. And Evaristo is going to talk about um, a lot of various things today, um, among which will be uh, his art and graphic design. Um, so Evaristo, <coughs> you're gonna show us something, um, and I'll film while you're showing us. <coughs> Um, first, um, I'll show you my, my certificate later on because, um, uh, I don't I didn't bring it, I should have, but, um, I graduated printing trade schools. Sure. And I specialized in plate making, stripping, and camera work. Yeah. Um, why did I specialize in that? And I ran the multi lifts. Okay, okay. You, you know, I ran a, a what is it, multi lifts, uh, uh, the basic multi lift for books, because mm. I worked at Hop on Roll for okay. a while. Oh, I see, okay. I see. Um, and, 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 and the big uh, press machine, which was a 22 something Dixon or something like that. Yeah. Um, well, uh, so, people don't understand when you're looking at a picture, Right, you're looking at an optical illusion, mm. composed of dots. Okay, and let me see. You can bring me a, a book or something. Book like with that. some pictures in it. Yeah, one picture, something. Okay, like yeah. That. Something or a magazine is better. You know. Magazine would be better. Okay, yeah. Let me get a That'd be good. Here we go. Okay. First of all, let, let's look at this, right? Okay. Okay, and this part. All right. right? Not to promote the book. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, and this. Okay. Okay. What you're looking in these pictures, these are called half tones, right? What you're looking at is an optical illusion. Right? Compose of dots. Now let me explain that. Right? Um, when you when they bring the picture in, you scale it down because it's usually a eight by ten sure. that they bring in. Yeah. And they say I want it here on the paper. Yeah. Because remember when you're gonna print, you're gonna print basically something like this if you wanna call something called a step up. Mm. Is that you want to put? You could either do it two ways on a smaller machine here, then you step it up here. Okay. Okay. And then you can step it up there, and you can step it up there, and you do four. Now you have to remember, this page is number one, the cover, but it's gonna be with the back. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. They're not. First of all, the, we work on a on a glass table sure. with lights. Uh huh. Yeah. Because that way we can work on the films and the touch-ups and we can see where we mark. Yeah. Usually we mark the spot with like a little point and uh, it's a mark, it's like a, a, a big needle, you okay. could say. Okay, I see. Uh, so what you do, it, what it is, is this is on a 22, basically paper used for magazine covers and that, since the, it's silk paper, Yeah. It, uh, you need finer points. So you would, it's like a 22, right? And and, and they will bring you the paper, the, 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 the picture, 16 by 20, and you would have to scale it down to where they want it, mm. exactly on the, I see. on the magazine. Yeah. Okay? So look, imagine this, a 16 by 20. Look how small you have to bring it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Now, if you look around it, you're going to see like a little edge. And that little edge is where they cut. I see. Because yeah. first you have a master. When the master is the everything you're going to drop yeah. to that master. One thing very important in... And layouts and everything is the math. Mm. 
You can't be making a mistake, not even of a 62 or 64 inch. Because then everything gets thrown off. Because everything looks like a moiré. That means if you ever looked at a picture like this, yeah. and it looks like it's square, you ever seen a picture I like have, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That means because they didn't drop. Mm. All the co okay, process colors, right? Magenta, red, cyan, blue, yellow, mm -hmm. black. You know, those are the basic colors of processing. So what happens is that you're gonna shoot every. Remember, this is a plain piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. You know? So you want to shoot everything on angles, every color separated. Mm -hmm. When you work on, when you work as a stripper, that's why the stripper gets played the most. Yeah. He's the one that, that sets everything up, you know, for the plates to be made. Sure. You know? And then the playmaker, I, 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 I'm a playmaker too, you know, has to know also where to put everything. Yeah. On the plate, because he makes one mistake, everything's gonna come out wrong. Yeah. So, okay, they give you that. Say, the camera is a big. This is a small. I'm, I'm talking about small because the camera could be as big as this room right here. Sure. Yeah. You know, and then what it is, it's just like a a, a regular camera that you see. Yeah. It's just that I don't know about that now, but then. When I worked in it, um, you will put your film inside, inside the dark room. You will, it's a big vacuum, a uh -huh. big door, a metal door. You come, you bring it down, you put the vacuum, and you, it has, it has like marks because of different sizes. Yeah. So you know, you're gonna want to know where to put your film uh -huh. to shoot. I see. So what it is. You go, you set it up there, then you come outside and you wheel it to where you want on a board here. Wow. And then you have to put your F-stops and everything on the camera to where you think you're going to get the best shot. Wow. Okay? Um, and we also develop it inside ourselves. Okay, sure, yeah. You know, the old-fashioned way you have to the, the fix it in. Uh, Everything, then you have the heart and, and everything. Yeah. You're right. So that is the process. But the thing is that everything is shot, every color is shot at an angle differently. Wow. So when you put them together, you first do, I forgot what you call it. You, it's a clear thing that you do with every color mm -hmm. and you drop it to see if everything came out good okay, in case you okay. have to change your color. I see. Yeah. You know, it's a clear piece of paper. It's called, I, well, the, the red part is called a ruby. That's where you, you use that sheet. Okay, first of all, you're going to have all your half tones together on one. Sure. And you're going to have every color separate for those half tones. So, I could see a mistake there already. But that's okay. You know, because right here, you see when they, over here, maybe they meant to do it. But you see right there, remember, this is a different color than this. Yeah. This is a common, if you had a loop, which we used to use. Yeah. Right? To look good, to see if all of that's one, one, uh, were the same. You want to get, when you shoot, uh, what you call, like a black and white, a 1090. Oh, okay. 1090 is 10% dark and then 90% white. Okay, I see. If that. you get those dots, basically the, the, the picture is gonna come out good. Yeah. You know? And to get those dots is the whole thing, you know sure. what I mean? Sure, yeah. You might have to do certain things to the film because we have a little tricks. Now they're probably different, we will bump it, we will, we will just cover it and bring it up. You know, we will do a, a put to spread Sometimes you see letters that go on top of letters. Yeah, I've seen uh, and that you see, and okay. Things, yeah. What you use is some clear sheets in between. Yeah. And there's this light above. You turn it on, and you spread it. Ah, uh, okay, I 
I see. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. understand? Yeah. You let me want. You don't know how many ten seconds, five seconds. You see what you want. How much of a spread you want? Yeah. Because that's where you're gonna drop the other lettering on top. Uh huh. And then just build it up off of that. Yeah. Right? You know. And that's it. That's where you want a spread. So that means when you see one something with a with a a a, 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 a color be a color be behind it that makes it. A, a word within a word in a way. Sure, you know? sure. That's called a spread. Anyway, you're going to take all your yellows and shoot them on one angle. You're going to take all your magentas and shoot them on one angle. Yeah. You're going to take all your cyans, which is blue, on all, on all, on another angle. Yeah. Then you have your basic, which is black. Sure. You know, uh, remember, black has red in it. So, um, that's why it has to be in a dark room that you develop it under a red light. Okay, I see. Because it yeah. won't damage the film. Anytime any type of light hits the film, it's going to damage it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and we use big films. I mean, we use big films. Absolutely. Um, what we do is, over here, these are knockouts. You see the white over here? Yeah. Say you get your color, your picture right. Yeah. And you put it all together. Right? Sure. And you get this, which it looks good. We have screens that are called tints. There are different sizes mm. that give you a different uh, a look. Okay, yeah. So sometimes you might want to use a screen on top of a picture to make it look a certain way. Yeah. You know? And, and, and what everything, the blacks... Everything, remember, everything that you see dark looks white on a film. Oh, sure, sure, yeah, yeah, Everything's yeah, yeah. reverse. Yeah. And we work on the film reverse, <laughs> backwards. Wow, yeah. You understand? What's easier, black and white. Black and white, like, I used to do all the ads for Lord and Taylor, uh, Saks Fifth Avenue, uh, 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 um, Gim what was Gimbal's at the time. It was uh, the Times. Okay, yeah. Uh, what is that big picture? Oh, no, uh, um, uh, big, uh, big newspapers. Well, all of the newspapers, basically, other than The Voice, and sometimes The Voice, too, Yeah. Uh, we would do. Wow. The black and whites, a lot of those things that you looked at were my work. Wow. It was my work back yes. in the days, because I used to do all those. You know, um, black and whites, which is simple work. Sure, you usually yeah. do them on a, on a small eight by ten, or flyers. You do them easy. Those yeah. those go on a paper. It's going sixty five. Mm, that's a dot. That's paper. a bigger dot oh, because it has it has is the paper thicker, and then it has to grip on. You know how sometimes you grab a paper, a uh, newspaper, and the ink comes out and yeah. everything like that. Yeah. And that's because it's not dry enough. Okay, I see. Because yeah. remember. Um, we had to wait for the last minute, like a certain job, to get the last whatever, the last thing they wanted to get. Yeah. So we can send it quick and they can put it on the press and run the presses. Yeah. You know? Because I worked in places like in the Navy Yard um, where they had big-ass machines. Oh, where you need sure. a ladder to get up to put the <laughs> ink. Wow. You know? Yeah. First, you have they, the first thing they teach you is how to clean a multi lift. Because every day you have to clean your machine. Oh, I'm sure. Because otherwise it okay. gets all jammed up. Huh? Yeah, not only that, it starts getting thick and everything to the sides and it starts blogging up on, on and things and it's not good. Yeah. But anyway, I love the math. I love the challenge. I love the work. Why I'm not in it, why I didn't choose when I graduated from Madison and go back to to uh, on printing was because it's too much of an active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much active. How many models that do coke in my dark room? Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. How many people... Well, I worked in one job. I went in on 23rd Street. I went in. One, of, I had two bosses. Um, one, one of the bosses was cleaning a pound of smoke. Wow, yeah, 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 yeah. And we looked in the refrigerator. All kind of beers were in there. Yeah. We had a cup because you see, when you work on smaller shops, they want to do as much work as possible. Sure, yeah. You understand? Yeah. To make more money, you know? Yeah. Um, I worked, and um, I'm not going to say the name, 
but it was on 34th Street, and the, and the place was so big it took to 35th Street. Wow. Around okay. Harris Square. Sure, yeah. You know, and what happened, they used to invite customers in, feed them food, and then give them alcohol. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then sell them the ads. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. You understand? Because uh, we figured after a few drinks, they're more loose to get the ad. But anyway, um, you have to, also the black and whites, you have to reduce Mm. to go to every area here that you wanted. You see, you have here, this is a good example of a block out. Okay. So that means if I'm going to do my black and white, this is another paper, remember that, another page completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what it is, well, sometimes, sometimes not. Um, you know, it's the same page you're working on, remember that. Sure. You know, they just, uh, uh, no, because this, this one's with the back, and this one's with the other one under the back. So this one works with the other one, but you have to make sure that it falls where you want it to fall. Yeah. You know, right here what they do is we block this out with a ruby lip okay. and a tint, right? Yeah. So they can then drop this in there. Uh-huh. We have to reduce this, you know? Yeah. And we have to make this smaller and this smaller because they want these pictures there. Yeah. Then we have to separate this, right, and cut it on the edge like that. If you notice, it just went a little over there. Oh, yeah, I see that. Right? Yeah. It went a little over. We have to cut this little box off so when we put the half tones in with different colors, right, this picture comes out like that. Uh-huh, yeah. And the smaller the picture, the harder it is. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? So, um, I loved it. I, I just loved it because what you're looking at is a clear piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah. And this is nothing compared to to the ones that have a thousand things on them. Oh, I know. Like like this something or something. Like that. You know. This, right here, you will knock all this out, right? Yeah. And then remember, it has a line through here. So that means you have to separate and look at all the different colors. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So then they give you this. They want this right here. So remember, you have to drop a line across here. Stop it there. Come here. Stop it there go there. So you're going to have something on the ruby lip that's going to knock this out. Wow. But remember, on one ruby lip, you have to use separate ones for these pages. Wow. Each one. So we have to cut in between these lines. Yeah. Look at the, the only... So the, look how close this Right here you can see it's different colors in there if you look good. Oh, right okay. there, blue. Yeah, I see that. That yeah. means it didn't drop completely where it needed to drop. Uh-huh. Or they didn't cut completely where they needed to cut. Sure. You know, and, and and it's such a challenging feel. Right here, you have to cut this flower around here. Well, what I used to use this as a sack to cutter, which I'm using now. I used to use like an 11. Yeah. It's like that little hospital knife that they used to cut uh, surgery so wow. we would cut with that and we would cut because I could still see the different colors mixing right there yeah I see that and you from and here. you come and you could see and they have to cut like this and like this and when you look at people's hair sometimes you have to cut around it because they want it to go right into something else yeah 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 and this is what I used to do wow Very and I loved it yeah. I, I loved it. I loved it. Well, not to say that I graduated with 27 straight A's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I was in the school room. I, back, they had a strike for the newspapers. Sure. Back then. So they called the school for somebody. Yeah. And they sent me. The school sent me. Yeah. I remember. Um. The guy that was my boss used to work at, at Alexander's in Third Avenue. Yeah. Right? So he kind of liked me from the start because I'm from the Bronx. Sure, sure. <laughs> you know, he was a younger guy, and I kind of knew how to cover his back when yeah. he got calls. Yeah. I knew it was going to be a part-time job until somebody got back. 
Yeah. But what happened there? In the job, I took some of my work from school. Yeah. To show them this is why I worked in school, right? And I remember at that job, at that time, I, the girl that in, that interviewed me, she was giving me a certain amount of money, like three dollars, three dollars, three dollars, something like that. I said no, no. I know myself. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, yeah. I, I, I learn fast. Yeah. Okay, three twenty-five. Oh no, no three fifty. Okay. Remember, a quarter meant a lot. Oh, then. for sure, for sure. So you know, so I kept going. I brought it to four dollars. Then I brought it to four fifty. Okay. Yeah. An hour. Wow. And then I wanted 50 cents more. Yeah. And she said, but I can't, I can't. She said, I wish I could give it to you out of my own pocket, but I can't. Yeah. That's the most the line pays, yeah. right? Yeah. So I, I said, okay. So the guy taught me maybe a day and a half to two days. Yeah. Because he was going on vacation, so they were desperate. He taught me the job, the whole process in yeah. that time. He went on vacation. He came back. He thought everything was going to be like a mess. Yeah. We had a lot of stores all over the United States. Sure. So it was doing all the, all the signs for the discounts and all that other stuff for stores yeah. and running them on it. And we had, at that time, we had to set them up with letterpress, like set up the, the, the numbers and, and six and the prices and, yeah. and the name of the jeans or whatever. And then you have to, and we would, that's called a direct print. Mm -hmm. Because you put it, you know, and it's a round thing, and you come and you it flips, and the letter comes and bam, uh -huh, makes yeah. a contact with the ends and prints it right there, and boom, and goes back. That's pretty old-fashioned. Sure. But, you know, that's what the job was. I learned it. Yeah. I did it quick. And, when I, and, and, and so we had to also... Um, after we, after I did them, I also have to pile them up and and, and, and um, package them. Yeah. And and put the, run them through the machines, stamp them with the stamp, the amount. Yeah. And and send them over to this whatever store it was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He came back, not on the shelves. Everything was done. Wow. And he went around posting. He used to say he was like a German man, yeah. older man. He said, these keys, these keys, I uh -huh. teach him one and a half days, what? <laughs> and he did everything. <laughs> he was so happy with me, man. And that place was big. Yeah. They used me as a model a couple of times because sometimes they use their own clients. Sure. So you see girls walking around in bikinis. You see all that other <laughs> stuff, you know. Because it was a, a pretty big pin. It yeah. was, that was B. Altman's. Oh, okay, B. Altman's. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? And, and uh, I'm not going to talk about anyway. There was not some nice girls there. And all this. So I was, always, I was always dressed. I was in shape. I was playing in tournaments. I was, you know... And, 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 and so they took likings to me, a lot of them. And I remember one girl called me from the other side, I need a hug. Yeah. And I said, okay, I'll be over there. And I gave her a hug. Yeah. You know? And and, and, and I would walk, and, and like everybody liked me a lot, especially my boss. Yeah. So one time I got my check. I was still getting my state check from the school. Sure. So I was okay. Yeah. You know? And since I knew there was this part time, I wasn't gonna report it because it was a part time. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm I'm looking at my check, my pay that that week. I go like that, and he, the older guy, managed to look over my shoulder, and seeing how much I was making. Yeah. He blew a casket. Uh, I was making more than him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, this was for the Christmas and all that for the holidays. And they had a big Christmas party. They wanted, I mean, a New Year's party they wanted me to go to. I know they had presents for me and everything, but I didn't stay. Yeah. You know, I didn't want that. So, because I kind of liked the job. Sure. You know? Uh, and I, I think I liked the people, the atmosphere more. Yeah. You know? And, 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 and the boss came and he says, listen, just tell me he looked up at your check. I want to keep you. Just yeah. tell me he looked at the check. Yeah. 
And I couldn't do that to an older person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't take his manager's job. Yeah. You know? I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. So, you know, I said, no, he didn't look over my shoulder, even though he did. Yeah. yeah. And it was evident because he blew a casket and everybody noticed. Yeah, yeah. So he went complaining. You know, so all I had to do was say, yeah, he looked and I would have kept that job. Yeah. And moved on to something else because I know myself. Sure. I have gotten, and this is a question we could ask when we get the lie detector thing. Yeah. I have gotten a raise. In, in, in every job, in every job I have had, yeah. Within the first week, first two weeks, within a month. Wow, yeah, yeah. In yeah. every job I have, as far as when it comes to offset printing. Yeah, wow. Even in my in, in my um, HIV job. Sure. I double my I double my salary within three years. Wow. You know. Um, it's just the way my work ethics, the way I am, I like what I do, especially when it came to this. Yeah. For example, one job that I had, they gave me, because I came out of school, they figured you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, so, but then when they see that you're good and you actually know what you're doing, everything changes. Sure, but first you'll have to unlock your device. 